Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you through 25 reasons not to smoke, drink or do drugs. I hope I can convince you. The US has only 4% of the world's population yet consumes a staggering 65% of all the world's hard drugs. The most abundant cash crop in the US is currently marijuana. Growers in the Mendocino County earn about 1 billion in pot revenue each year. About 14 million Americans fit the criteria for alcohol abuse and alcoholism. In rare instances, someone's first use of cocaine can prove fatal. Deaths from cocaine often result from cardiac arrest or seizures, followed by respiratory arrest. Dying is one way to avoid addiction though. Regularly snorting cocaine can lead to severe nasal problems such as loss of smell, nosebleeds, hoarseness, problems with swallowing, and septum irritation which leads to a chronically runny nose. It can actually rot the nose right off your face. Smoking is the cause of 90% of deaths from lung cancer in men and 80% of deaths from lung cancer in women. The risk of dying from lung cancer is over 23 times greater in males and 13 times greater in females than their non-smoking counterparts. Smoking cigarettes nearly doubles a person's risk of having a stroke. I don't smoke, but my risk of having a stroke later tonight has just doubled. Women who smoke increase their risk for infertility, stillbirth, preterm delivery, low birth weight, and sudden infant death syndrome, commonly referred to as SIDS. About 18% of women aged 15 to 44 smoke whilst pregnant. You'd think a 15 year old pregnant girl would have better judgment than that. Among women, cigarette use correlates with level of education. Smoking estimates are highest for women without traditional high school diplomas and lowest for women who have college degrees. Exposure to secondhand smoke causes premature death and disease in those who do not smoke. A cigarette smoke contains hundreds of toxic chemicals such as formaldehyde, arsenic, ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. Not good at all. Exposure to secondhand smoke can produce immediate adverse effects on the cardiovascular system, interfering with the way the heart, blood, and vascular systems normally function, and increasing the risk of a heart attack. However, the benefits of smoking secondhand smoke is that it's free. Non smokers exposed to secondhand smoke at home or in the workplace have a 30% increased chance of developing heart disease or even lung cancer. Excessive alcohol use, such as binge drinking, can result in severe health problems, such as psychological disorders, liver disease, and unintended injuries, and even much more than that. From 1995 to 2002, new heroin users ranged from 121,000 to 164,000 each year, and most of them being males over the age of 18. I guess the 90s were hard on everyone. Heroin withdrawal symptoms include muscle and bone pain, restlessness, nausea and vomiting, and cold flashes with goosebumps. I think it'd be much more fun to be on the heroin. Caffeine is more addictive than marijuana. I disagree. Excessive caffeine intake can lead to nausea, heartburn, vomiting, increased heart rate, depression, anxiety, difficulty sleeping, and tremors. Personally, when I have too much coffee in the morning, I get a little anxious. The crank bug is a hallucination commonly experienced by meth users. This is where they feel insects are crawling on or underneath their skin, which causes them to pick obsessively at their skin, leading to open sores which then become infected. I finally now know why meth users look like they've got scabs all over their faces. Ecstasy is often used in conjunction with other drugs, such as marijuana, cocaine, ketamine, methamphetamine, and plenty of others, making ecstasy more dangerous. Who would have thought? The synthetic drug known as MDMA can affect the body's ability to regulate temperature, which can cause kidney and liver failure and cardiovascular failure. Swedish researchers have discovered a link between marijuana use and a higher chance of developing schizophrenia. I personally thought that was old news. Pseudoephedrine, or ephedrine, is the most common ingredient used in crystal meth. It's also used in cold medicine. Other ingredients in meth include paint thinner, freon, drain cleaner, battery acid, and lithium are also used. Talk about a cocktail of dangerous shit. In a study of reckless drivers conducted in Tennessee, a third of all drivers not under the influence of alcohol tested positive for marijuana. 
In 2005, a US national household survey was conducted. 46% of people aged 12 and older have admitted to smoking pot at least once in their lives. The other 54% of people are lying. Now I hope that I've been able to deter you from doing some of those bad habits. If you enjoyed the video, I ask that you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, why don't you subscribe? And if you're a hardcore subscriber, share the video. And share my other videos, help me expand. That would be much appreciated.